Howdy folks and welcome back to Communist Revolutionary Simulator 6. Quick word before we start, this video almost didn't happen. Those of you who've been keeping up to date with Mingles with Jingles will almost certainly be aware that I'm in the process of trying to buy my first home and nothing has happened for the last two months, but today I finally got a reply with an extremely comprehensive report back from the solicitors and I have spent the day reading through an inch and a half of paperwork and signing documents all of which left very little spare time to get any actual work done. So today's video was very nearly an I'm sorry for there not being a video today video, but, well, it's not. And here's Far Cry 6. I can only apologise for that. I can practically guarantee you that it's not going to be worth it. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> moving on with the plot, such as it is. Me for the army, me for the guerrillas. Time to pay off some debt. I got some customers who are dying to get out of paradise. You're going to help them do that. I've left you a truck. Use it to drive my customers to the docks, where our ship will be waiting. The docks are guarded, so you're going to work a little harder to get past them without a fight. That's where Rafael Merrero comes in. He's a forger and a very important client of mine. His papers will get you through. Do this for me, and Paolo's debt is wiped clean. Everyone wins. When the boat leaves, the boat leaves. So, yeah, Bembe. One of the better written characters in Far Cry 6. Sadly, he's also the source of one of the most annoying features of Far Cry 6. For those of you who maybe can't remember what happened in the last episode, the reason we're working for Bembe, he's a black marketeer and human trafficker, is in order to clear off the debt that Paolo from Maximus Matanzas owes him, because he and Talia cannot leave the island until they've paid off the debt that Paolo owes. So I'm working for Bembe to pay off Paolo's debt. Danny! Danny, Danny, Danny! What do you want, Picho? Nothing. No, that's wrong. It's definitely something. I promise. Meet me back at the camp. I got an idea. Bye! Paolo, just spoke to our mutual friend, Bembe. What did that snake have to say? He says I do this one last dirty job for him, and you walk away clean. I'm not proud, but I do it again to get Talia and me out of Yara. Danny, I know the risk you are taking for me. I won't forget this. Thank me if I get through this in one piece. So, the first and most obvious question is, why Think do they have to pay Bembe off? Why can't they just leave? Bembe. Why is it everywhere you send me I find trouble? Speculation is a waste of time. And time is money. Take matters into your own hands, Rojas. And fast. Rafael is there somewhere. It's a reasonable question, but I suppose it's not that stupid. They are, you know, wanted. So they can't just turn up at the airport with their passports or they'll be arrested. So in order to get off the island, they have to rely on the black market. And Bembe controls the black market. I suppose they could just, you know, buy or steal a boat and make their own way off the island, but, well, it doesn't pay to ask too many questions like that when you're playing Far Cry 6. The other option, of course, and something that I tried unsuccessfully, was to just shoot Bembe in the face. I mean, that would solve the problem for everybody, including all of the other people that Bembe's taken advantage of. Unfortunately, Ubisoft has thought of that, and they took the easy way out and made Bembe unkillable. You can shoot him, he will go down, but he will not die. He'll just lie there, moaning, groaning, crying and pissing his pants Hostage. until he's revived. And you kind of have to revive him because you can't continue the plot without him. So you have to revive the guy that you just shot in the face, who then acts as if absolutely nothing happened. <laughs> and then you can talk to him to take the next part of the quest. Yeah. Anyway, there's a guy by the name of Raphael who is being held here by the military and I can't remember exactly why we need him. Is he the passport guy? Yeah, that's right. He, he's the guy faking the paperwork that will allow 
Uh, the latest bunch of people that Bembe is moving off the island to get off the island. So we need this Raphael guy intact. He's down there somewhere. I've got no problems with saving Raphael. If I could just shoot Bembe in the face, I wouldn't need to, though. Right. Time to go all yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. I can't believe I haven't actually been spotted yet. I must be doing something right. One there. And I think that's it. I think that's all of them. Right, let's go and grab Raphael. Must be one of these guys. Did Bembe send you? See, si. You Raphael? I got papers for you. They're in the truck nearby with Bembe's costumers. You better hurry. What about you? I'm going back to my studio. I have more art to create. Bembe, I got your... clients... and your papers from Raphael. Okay, Ross. Now, make sure my precious cargo gets to the port. Si. Okay. The next part of the job is on a timer. Uh, don't worry, it's a very generous timer. You'd have to be spectacularly bad in order to screw it up. And even if you do screw it up, it would just drop you back here right at the start of the mission and make you do it again. There's a truck. You have the paperwork from Raphael. And there's a truck full of refugees, migrants, uh, whatever, people. Oh, hang on a second. What do you want for me? Danny. Marking an anti-aircraft site on your map. Take it out for me, okay? Muchas gracias. Always pays to talk to random rebels that you see wandering around. They usually have good stuff to give you. But yes, um, we have to basically drive them to the ship at the port before the ship leaves. Everyone good back there? Vámonos! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the truck. Boss waiting. Try not to damage the goods. Goods? I got a truck full of people here. No, Danny. That's a truck full of money. My money. Now, there is an auto drive feature in Far Cry 6. In fact, if I recall correctly, it was an auto drive feature in Far Cry 5 and Far Cry 4 as well, and it works exactly the same way. However, do make sure that you have actually selected the mission destination because if you just hit the auto drive button the auto drive feature will turn itself on but it won't drive you to your destination because you haven't set a destination it will just auto drive you along the road that you're currently on until you run out of road so go to your map right click on the mission destination and then return to the cab and auto drive will take you to the mission destination now, while you're auto driving, you don't have to stick to the speed limit. You can hit the accelerator to get you there a little bit faster. Just be careful on the turns because, well, the truck that you're driving might not be able to turn quickly. Tick tock, Danny. The boat won't wait forever. I know, I know. Papers. Wait a minute, Christmas trees? Do we even grow those here? Mexicans pay crazy money for this. How you think El Presidente funded Maria's new face? Okay. Go through. Oh, and if you happen to be recording it for YouTube, make sure you turn the radio off, because all of the music on the radio is copyrighted. <laughs> Thanks, Ubisoft. And you get your video demonetized. Now, remember, you have to get here in the time limit, which is relatively easy, because the boat is going to leave. Yeah? Look at the dock. What boat? There is no boat. Seriously, how hard would it have been to put in a boat? It didn't have to be the SS Titanic. Any boat would have done. But no, no. Too much like hard work for Ubisoft. You do beautiful work, Rojas. I'm sure our friends here will be very appreciative. Ah, moment, amigos. This isn't your stop. 
Que coño, they're not going? Business expense. What the fuck does that mean? My talent is commerce, Rojas. Why don't you leave that part to me and you can focus on your talents? Run back and tell Paolo he has my permission to leave. Vaya con Dios. The game will allow you to go on a killing spree, murdering rebels and civilians. And it will warn you to stop, but it will let you do it. But a scumbag like that? Bulletproof. Nice job, Ubisoft. Paolo, good news. Bembe's off your back. That was one hell of a debt you owed. Gracias, Danny. We keep this between us. Talia hates everything Bembe represents. I owe you one. But Talia and I are still getting off this island. So, why did I bother? <laughs> you know, given that the whole reason I'm in this province in the first place is to enlist their help for the revolution. So, what, what the fuck was the point of any of this? Short answer, there doesn't have to be a point to anything. This is Far Cry 6. That's not how this game works. That, sadly, is all I have time for today. I hope you were amused by it, and as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.